Hey, welcome back to the big board. Let's have a look and see what we got, huh? 48th Panzer Corps, Battles of the River Chur from Counterattack Magazine, issue number three, no less. I just punched it, working out how to set it up. It's a little uh, argy bargy, <laughs> it's a little uh, flexible. So we're uh, trying to keep formations together and we're trying to uh, have a little look at a little bit of history and see what actually went on. And I just found a unit from Second Guard Tank. So he's got to go somewhere. We'll find a spot for him in a minute. Let's do this. Let's put him, let's put him somewhere right here that we don't forget. Uh, <clears throat> so it's an interesting situation. And if you've played uh, Standard Combat Systems Stalingrad Pocket 2, you'll get to mess around with some of this in uh, one section of the map, uh, if I recall correctly, because I, I recognize some of these names here, like this little township here. Uh, and in these towns here, uh, you'll have to forgive the artwork, right? Because we're, we're way back in the day, back in 88 and the hexes numbers are hard to read the color is just atrocious the red and the green are glaring the mountains are the same color as the roads or the slopes are the same color as the roads whatever the heck they are uh this system i, I don't know much about the designer i probably should i haven't done my homework on him but suffice to say that it feels and looks like a first effort it has an interesting combat mechanic where weapons have a specific uh, effectiveness depending on who their target is. Uh, and there are a variety of firing classes. There's armor and anti-tank and personnel and adjacent artillery and supporting artillery. And then you get some column shifts for attacks. But then when you choose to, when you get your combat result, then you get this uh, morale option that you can either take no morale check and retreat or pass your morale check and uh, not, uh, and then take step losses and then not, and then be able to fire, which is kind of like just doing combat, uh, fire uh, in the preceding phase, or if you fail, you will take your losses and then not be able to fire. Uh, so that's interesting as well. Um, Objective wise, let's have a quick look. I'm really, this is more of a quick introduction to have a look at the game and, and the, see how things work, potentially. Well, and when I say how things work, I mean how I think they work. But from a VP standpoint, we've got some cities have the VPs on them, uh, like this city here. Some cities are not present on the map. There's a city here, it's either this hex or this hex, but makes next, whatever, someone there. And I think it's five MP, uh, five VPs there. This one's worth 10. This guy's worth 10 over here. Not another one worth 10 over here. There's no city there, but I think in the errata, there's a there's a city there or you, you're just capturing the bridge either way. Uh, and you've got the, wherever there's a white cross, there is also uh, VPs allocated. And you'll also receive VPs for exiting uh, Soviet divisions off of the map. Uh, the south edge of the map and so we'll now take those off since you now know that and I know that now we can see a little more clearly so it, it's the classic case set in you know 42 I forget what period of time I think it's December uh, December 42 and it's only uh, it's a very small scale too so we're dealing with one mile hexes and 12 hour turns and uh, only one, two, three, four, five, so only six days. So it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a snappy little game and I think it's gonna play fairly quickly. <clears throat> You've got uh, a pretty wide variety of units, but they all either break down into infantry, armor or AT style or support weapons, uh, despite the fact that there's heavy flak uh, heavy flak units and there's there's regular AT guns around somewhere and there's there's one there, you know. So you've got you've got a there's some nice OB here, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So we'll see how it all works out. 
This is where it all actually occurred, right there. Miniature River, all right. Rostov to the west and Stalingrad to the east. And I think the camera is about to fall over, so we'll stand that up. Okay. All right, so I thought I'd just share this with you a little bit. It's an older magazine game. Rules are pretty easy to read, very straightforward. Uh, we'll, we'll see how she plays. And then immediately after that, we're going to play Paulus' Sixth Army. Um, in fact, I'm getting that set up as we speak. We've got uh, that over there. We've just got to punch it all out. And uh, we'll go for things from there. All right, folks. Talk to all of you soon. Cheers.